p.m. and we have basketball practice with Coach Steve. Hey, Steve, how are you doing? Hi, everybody. Thanks for having me. I'm good. Thanks. Always. Um, how was your long weekend? It was good. It was uh, different than past years, but I think that could be said for a lot of people. So overall, it was good, though. Uh, good awesome. family time. Yeah. Um, did you guys go out and enjoy the sun a little bit? We did go for a couple walks and uh, enjoyed the uh, what feels like spring coming up. So yeah, yeah. it was nice. It was it's like nice. there. It's just it's right there. You can feel yeah. it coming, but it's like holding back a little bit. Yeah, we're right um, on the. That verge. is. Awesome. That's awesome. So I have some exciting news. Guess what I got? Hey, all right. Instead of using here. a soccer ball, I I stole this from my brother. Um, so. I got some basketball to practice with. So I'm excited for today. What are we going to be working on, Coach? Okay, so we're going to start our workout um, similar to how we've been beginning all of our workouts. And the reason that we're going to start in similar ways is that we can keep working on having good habits to begin workouts. So when we are going to familiar places with the basketball, of making sure that we're getting our body ready, we're getting our mind ready to hop into, hop into drills, and a good way to do that is to do some things that we're familiar with uh, while at the same time being pushed a little bit so that we can really prep our mind and our body to uh, to be pushed when we get into the uh, the full on drill work. So today, what, what we've been doing, what we uh, will stick to what we have been doing, where we're going to get our, our hands and we're going to get uh, everything all nice and tuned in with the ball. So we're just going to get a couple of tosses back and forth. All right. It can be close. It can be far. We're just going to get a nice feel for the ball. Okay. So we're tossing it back and forth. All right. From here, we'll give it a couple good slaps just so we can get our hands nice and warmed up. Good way to uh, get a good feel for the ball. And then like we've been doing in all of our warm-ups. All right. We're going to get some taps with our fingertips. All right. Soft touch on the ball. Let's see if we can drop our hands straight down. Drop our hands straight down. And then we'll bring them back up to right about chest level. Okay? So right about here. We're just getting the ball moving back and forth. Now, if we have to move it slower, that's okay. But what we have to focus on is making sure that the ball is staying on our fingers. We're not passing with our palms. We're keeping those hands flexed a little bit and we're passing it back and forth. Let's see if we have if we have the roof space, we can lift it up over our head and keep that going. And get it down. All right, there we are. All right, so now what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and keep that basketball moving and we're going to bring our arms up and down, back up, down, up. And down. So we're just going to try and have the arms going up and down and the basketball keep it at the same pace. Good. All right, now we're going to go and try and go as fast as we can. If we lose the ball, that's okay. We're going to try and go as fast as we can for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and a half, one, and zero. Okay. From here, we should have the wrists and the hands all nice and loose and feeling good with the basketball. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get some stationary dribbling in. Okay. So what we want to try and focus on is that when we do our ball handling, this is a great way to warm up. And even if we're good dribblers, even if we're great dribblers, there's always a little bit more work we can do. There's always a little bit more that can be accomplished. And we always want to be going into our workout feeling confident and feeling comfortable with the ball. So all we're going to do to start is, is we're just going to pass it back and forth hand to hand. All right, so a little crossover. Left to right, right to left. Okay? What we want to try and do while we're doing this is we're in our stance, feet are apart like we talked about in previous weeks. Chest is up, eyes are up. Okay? Let's see if we can maintain that stance while we do this. All right, we're not worried about speed just yet. We're just moving the ball back and forth. All right, so from here, we're going to put the ball in our right hand. We're going to go five dribbles with the right hand, 
and we're going to change hands. So one, two, three, four, and five, switch. One, two, three, four, and five, switch. Okay, we're just going to keep that going for a couple minutes. Five, switch. One, three, four, five, and switch. Now, when we're doing this, let's make sure that we try and get a little more strength in the dribble. Okay, like we've talked about in previous weeks. So that now that we're feeling more comfortable with the ball, we can start to get a little more aggressive with it, all right? Start to have a little bit more pop when we're moving it into the floor. So let's have it. Five dribbles and then we'll cross over. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, and switch. Switch. A little more strength in the dribble. And let's keep that stance. Switch. Good. Let's do it one more time. All right, we're going to go back and forth again. Okay? Good. All right. Now from here, we're going to bring our left foot forward. All right, so we're going to start to introduce getting it through our legs a little bit. All right, so we're going to take a dribble, put it through our legs, and put it back. Dribble, put it through our legs. Put it back, all right? Nice and slow to get going. Getting the rhythm of it. Legs nice and wide, all right, so the ball can fit. Okay? If we can, we got to make sure that we keep our eyes up. We want to try and have that habit as much as we possibly can once we've gotten a comfort level with the ball. We have to be able to handle the ball with both hands, not looking at the ground. All right, so if we feel more comfortable with this, let's speed it up just a bit. All right, so dribble. One and back. Dribble through the legs, back. Through the legs, back. Good. Let's get five more. Five, four, three, two, one. One more. Good. All right. Now we're going to switch our legs. We're going to get that right foot forward. All right, still seeing if we can keep our chest up. When we get those legs apart, let's see if we can still keep a bit of a bend in them, all right? We're not trying to stand straight-legged like this. We're still in a bit of an athletic position here, all right? So we're going to go one dribble with our left hand, through and then back. One dribble with our left hand, through and back. All right, let's get the rhythm of it. If we mess up or if we lose the ball, perfectly all right. All right, that means that we're trying. That means that we're pushing outside our comfort zone, so mistakes are always encouraged. All right, once we have the rhythm of it a little bit, let's see if we can push ourselves a little and speed this up. All right, let's get one good dribble through and back. Good. Let's see if we can get 15 good ones. We're at five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. One more good one, best one to finish, and fifteen. Excellent. All right. So let's go back to our stance. All right. Now that we should be nice and warm and we should have a real good feel for the ball. When we're talking about our stance, like we've said before, hips are back. Feet or shoulder width apart, so we're nice and wide and strong, okay? Chest is up, eyes are up. The game's happening up here. We don't want to get into a habit of looking down, all right? From here, we're going to work our dribble, a little bit more static stuff, and then we're going to start to introduce our feet moving again, okay? So we're going to go from here. We're going to go one hard, good dribble, boom, and then we're crossing over, boom, and then we're crossing over, okay? So big, hard dribble with our right hand change it to the left, big hard dribble with our left hand, change it to the right. All right, we're going to get 10 on each hand. See if we can stay in our stance that entire time. All right, ready, and one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, 
Okay, so we should get to our, when we finish our 10, we'll finish our 10 reps. We're going to add two dribbles, all right? Two dribbles. One, two, and then change the hand. One, two, then change the hand, all right? We're going to get 10 on each side again. In our stance, let's see if we can push ourselves a little. Ready? And one, two. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Got two it now. Nine. Last one. Good. So finish up your rep. All right. We're going to come up for a sec. Shake it out. All right. And we're going to get two more static ones before we get to moving our feet. All right. Maybe two more and then we'll just take a quick break. So here's what we're going to do. In our stance, feet are apart. Chest is up. All right. From here, we're going to take a big dribble. Boom. We're going to change our hands and then come back through our legs. This is going to be a little bit more tricky. So for those of us that feel comfortable doing it, focus on keeping a strength in the dribble and some speed with it while keeping our eyes up. For those of us that don't feel comfortable with this yet, take it at a good, slow pace first. Big dribble, change the hand, bring it back, back to where we started. Okay? So big dribble, crossover through the legs, back. Crossover through the legs, back. Big dribble, back. Good. All right. If we're making mistakes, that is fantastic. Mistakes are encouraged. All right. So now we're going to try and push a little bit. Okay. We're going to try and see if we can get outside our comfort zone and get at least a couple good ones. All right, so we're going to go to 15. Are we ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four. Big dribble, cross, and split. Eight. Five more, guys. Two. One, last. Good. Not bad. Hopefully we made some mistakes in there. We're going to switch it over to our left hand. This is our last one. Then we'll take a quick break. In our stance, left hand, cross, back, big dribble, cross, back, big dribble. All right, let's get the rhythm. Feet are nice and wide. We're in position of strength. All right, chest is up. Eyes are up if we can to see the floor. All right, let's get a couple more so we got the rhythm of it. And then we'll get to work. So let's see if we can get 15 good ones, guys. 15 good ones, all right? Ready, and start it up. Two, three. Eight, nine, keep going at your pace. Try and push a little. I got four more to do. Three, two, one. Ah, one more. All right. Pretty good. Good start to our workout. Lots of good static stuff. Working that handle. Oh, that was Good. tough. Um, I have a question. Because this is, okay, I'll show you. So okay. this is where I get stuck. And when we're doing, yep. we're just in our static position. Here, I'll make my feet a little bit bigger so everyone else can see. I'm in my position, right? So what I'm doing here, when I'm crossing over, the problem is, that exactly like i don't know where to aim because if i do too short it hits my legs and then or i'm like too far it takes forever for me but, to okay. get back what happened actually is real good so 
one of the things that becomes the struggle when we're putting the basketball between our legs and we start to hit our leg or we hit up here or something like that is we're usually passing the basketball too much in front as opposed to pushing it through our legs and having our hand meet on the other side. So part of that is getting our legs apart. The other part of that, all right, is push, pushing. So see if the camera can get it. Pushing through the leg, almost making contact with the leg so I can pass yeah. through. If I'm stopping here or something like, let me see if I can get it. If I'm stopping here, the basketball is going to stop there too. So what I want to okay. be able to do, I'll move my camera. So what I want to be able to do is when I go through my legs, I want to bring my hand here. All right, right about there. And then my other hand is waiting there. Okay? So here and then come back. Here and then come back. Okay? If I'm okay. stopping here, that basketball is just going to bounce too far in front of my leg to actually get underneath my leg. Okay. That okay? makes sense. Okay. So really yeah. the best way to go about that yeah. is we just got to practice making sure that our hand's getting to the right spot like we were just working on. And if we find ourselves hitting the leg with the ball, then that means that our hand is probably stopping too short. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. The other thing that I was, that I started noticing about my form and it's because I'm trying to copy you. Right. But I know you're, you're six foot four. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm five, seven. So, <laughs> um, but when I was doing it, it's, I'm really like down low. Like it feels like I need to be like down here to get my, you know what I mean? Is that okay? Or should I be kind of sitting up higher or, I think you want to you want to try and think about how this is working and how this is working, and it doesn't necessarily have to be the exact same way. So when we talk about our stance, yeah, and we talk about getting low, sometimes what being low feels like to a lot of people is feeling low feels like this, where I start to hunch over and my legs are still right about here, as opposed to if I'm getting low, this can be up here, and I have to get my hips back. But this is still up. Okay? okay. Now, when I start to play, sometimes you are going to wind up getting down here a little bit. But it's got to yeah. come from here. So we can think of it of one way. Upper body follows lower body. Lower body follows feet. So that means that for us to get lower, our feet have to get apart. For us to be able to, now that our feet are apart, get, we have to have our hips go back so that we're in a good, strong athletic position. And then from there, so that we're not falling over, we got to try and fight to keep our chest up. Right. All right? So okay. if we're doing these kind of dribbles, the best thing that I found worked for me when I was really starting to have to improve at this was my feet were too narrow. So I had nowhere really to go, and the ball didn't really have a lot of place to go with it. Right. So I over-exaggerated a little bit, and I got my feet apart. Then – I can actually get a little bit lower while this still stays up. Okay. Okay. So, so okay. So, yeah, my form was pretty good then because I do feel like if I'm this low, I still mm -hmm. feel like I'm not like this with my head no. between my legs. I still have this forward. And I feel like way better control. Yep. Okay. okay. So as long as we're keeping our chest up and um, we're not hunching over and our legs are kind of following like where our feet are, which – we got to get our hips down. There's an old saying in basketball, and I'm sure it is in, in every other sport, though, is in order to, like, play and really make something happen, it's it's low to go. You got to be low to go. And if we're talking about dribbling the basketball, if you're dribbling, then that means you're trying to go somewhere. So if I'm standing straight up, right, and my legs are close together, I'm not really yeah. a threat to do much. If I'm low to the ground, all of a sudden I'm more explosive. Now if I decide to go, I'm low and I can go. Yeah, for sure. Okay, cool. Awesome. That was good. Um, we're going to incorporate feet now. You yeah, we're, we're going to do a little bit of dynamic stuff with our feet. Cool. And then we're going to get into one dynamic thing off our catch so that we can work on uh, how we get the ball when we're moving a little bit if, if we are still in closed spaces and okay. uh, what we would try to do with our shot. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so quick challenge with our feet. Now that we've done all our dribbling, and we've gone over our patterns. We're gonna try to move our feet a little bit, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. 
right? We're still going to keep the same type of pattern to start, which is a good thing for us to do while we're at home, is if we start with a static drill, like one, two, three, like we just did, now it would be probably be a good idea to incorporate that same dribble movement while moving our feet. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go dribble, crossover, we're going to split our feet, and then we're going to come back to home, okay? So just like what we were talking about, that hand's got to push that ball through the legs, but our legs, I'll just move the camera, our legs, instead of staying here, are getting to here and splitting like scissors, okay? So our feet are going to have to be active. All right, and they're going to have to be active to get here, and then they're going to have to be active to get back. All right, so let's go slow to figure it out. If at home you already feel good enough to go, start working through it. All right, if you're not, then let's work through it slowly together. So dribble, cross over, move the feet, come back. Dribble, cross over, move the feet, come back. Okay, dribble, cross over, split, come back. Dribble, cross over, split come back now when we're splitting let's not try and stand up and then have to come back down let's see if we can challenge ourselves to go dribble split here and then come back but we're staying low and we're fighting to keep it low all right so let's get a couple more dribble crossover here dribble here All right, so let's see if we can challenge ourselves a little bit. We're gonna try and get 10. And we're gonna try and get 10 with good active feet. All right, so at your pace, do a little bit to push. And ready, and 10 good ones. Here we go. Should be a, I got four, five. One more. Good. All right, so we'll finish up our rep. And we're going to switch over to our left hand. Okay? Now, important if we can do it. Eyes trying to stay up, especially when we start to get into dynamic stuff with our feet. This means we're probably going to be on the move. So these have to be trained on to be up. All right. So let's try with our left hand, guys. Okay, basketball is beginning in our left hand. Let's get the feel for it first. If you already feel comfortable, then you can get to work. All right, let's go. Left, cross, split, and come back. Split, come back. All right, if we have the rhythm of it now, let's see if we can ten, get 10 good ones. 10 good ones. That's one on our left hand. See if we can challenge those eyes to be up. If it makes it hard to have the eyes up, that's okay. If we mess up, grab the ball, hop back in. All right, are we ready? Starting with our left hand. And here we go. Last one. Good. All right. All right. Good reps, guys. I have a I have another question. Sure. <laughs> um, it's now this is another struggle that I have with. It's the receiving the ball after it crosses my leg, okay. and I don't know. I don't know if it's because it's my left hand, but it's just when I get it here. It's this wraparound that I got to do that I'm not very comfortable with. Okay. So when we're doing that, and again, same type of thing, when we start static, the hard part is going to be when we start to move feet and our body starts to twist and turn, is now yeah. to 
be harder to get that ball back to where we want. And that's where the really working at it in the static stuff where we split our legs and get it here and get used to manipulating the ball and moving it around. That's where the stuff just standing very stationary comes in handy, like we've done in previous weeks, where we're even just doing this, where we're getting our hands used to being where it has to be to receive the ball. What we're doing here is tough for, for everybody. Yeah. So the important thing is, after I've pushed it back, is me bringing the ball, being able to move the ball back without putting my hand directly underneath it which would be a carry by the rules. So I have to get pretty good at keeping the ball in my hand right about here. Now, people are getting more liberal with this because stuff with basketball is changing all the time with what are travels, what are carries. Guys are getting pretty creative with what they're doing with the ball. But if we're able to keep the ball moving, where it comes from is if I get the ball here, I have to get my body back here bringing it back here, and a great drill to work on that, what you're just talking about, Adrian, is even just doing this. Dribble, dribble, punch it, come back. Dribble, dribble, ah. punch it, come back. We can work on that next week, so I think that's a really good point. I might have got ahead of yeah. myself there. Okay, cool. That was, that was perfect. I'm okay. going to work on it. Awesome. Okay. We can keep going. So we got one more thing that we're going to do. So here's what we're going to do. We've done our dribbling. We've gotten our feet active. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to work on getting our catch. Really important when we play basketball, all right? So if I get a, if I get a catch in a game, i got to be ready to do something. First thing I should be ready to do is shoot, all right? If I'm getting the catch in a half court, even if I'm not going to shoot it, catching it low and athletic and getting my eyes up to the rim is the best thing we can do with the basketball once we catch it, okay? So when we catch it, we have to be ready to play which means our hips have to be back, our feet have to be apart, everything we just did, except now we're moving a little bit. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Ball's in my left hand right now. I'm going to drop it, and I'm going to take one, two step to get underneath it and bring it into my shooting pocket and sit down ready to shoot. Okay, so one more time. Ball's in my left hand. I'm going to drop it. After the first bounce, I'm going to get underneath it. My hips are going to go back. And I'm going to get right here ready to shoot. Okay? So drop, bounce, catch, and sit. Good. All right, so let's try it again. Drop, bounce, catch, and sit. Okay, drop, catch. Good. Here we go. Drop, and sit. Let's see if we can get a couple more. Now, if we can get some squeaks on the shoes while we do that, that's even better. I don't know what kind of surface everybody is on, but if there's a squeak that we can get, let's see if everybody can hear it from mine. If I can catch it, my feet are digging into the ground. Okay, so squeak, squeak. All right, let's try two more on this side with the left hand, and we'll move it to the right. And coming back. One, two. Good. All right, let's put it in the right hand. All right? We'll do about five or six on this side, then we're going to do our drill to finish for the day. We'll try and make it a little bit tough, see if we can get our heart rate up a little bit. All right, so drop it with the right hand. One, two, sitting down. Our left foot should be the first one squeaking. The right foot should be the second one in this case. A drop, one bounce, squeak, squeak. All right, let's get two more. Last one. Okay. So here's our drill. We're going to start it within the left. We're going to drop it. One, two. Right away, drop it with the right. One, two. Over to our left, drop it, one, two. It's okay, so if I'm dropping it with my left hand, my right foot leads, my left foot plants second. If I'm dropping it with my right hand, my left foot leads, my right foot drops and plants second, okay? 
So we're going to try and speed this up and work on our catch a little bit. So we're going to get 10. So five on the left side, five on the right side. All right, let's see how we do. Focus on being on balance. Eyes are up when we catch it like we're facing a rim. All right, ready and here we go. Bad catch. One, two. One, two. One, two. Three for me. Five. See if we can work in tight spaces. Keep keep it in a closed space. Closed space. Little space. Good. Last two. Pretty good, yes. I All see. Right. I see that you even do a little bit of a like a little pump in there as yeah, well. Yeah, I think. Catching it and just freezing, it's like you, you, it's habit, I'm sure, right? Uh, there were, there was a time when I didn't do that and I ran enough sprints to figure out it was better to do it. Uh, okay, so it should be a part of your, because triple threat, right? This is triple threat. Triple threat. And our so, first thing that we can do on our catch is we're a threat to shoot. We haven't bounced it yet. We haven't decided to give it, give it up. So our first threat is... I should look at the rim and I should show the ball just a sec. So now all of a sudden, if I'm a threat to shoot and they're worried about me shooting, then maybe hands come up, maybe feet and legs get straight. And then our decision is for next is made for us. We should go to the basket. Totally. And the eye look, it's very important because it's super deceiving, right? It's super, super cool. deceiving. Like, so as soon as the defender looks at you, like the first thing he's probably going to look at is right at your face. Mm -hmm. He sees your eyes pointing at something. Yeah, he's going for it. Really, really good defenders are probably not going to look at these. No? Okay. But the majority of people that are worried about guys or girls shooting are going to see the eyes showing interest in the rim, and that does get people up and off their feet. So um, I've been asked in the past, like, when you get to play college basketball, I played college basketball in the States. Um, at a division one school. And the funny thing is for all like the high level stuff you did, our first three weeks were teaching guys how to catch the basketball. And that was it. You would pass to a coach, you would make a hard cut, you would catch it and you'd have to face the basket like this. And if you didn't do it, it was a down and back. And Oops. if you didn't do it all the time, cause that's how we started our workouts. It was a lot of running. So you learned awfully quick when I catch it. And if I, if I get it here, I got to be a threat to shoot it first and foremost. So it's, at a level like that, where it was very, very serious, it was the simplest, simplest stuff drilled over and over and over and over again, because that's how you are an effective player. It's doing simple things really well. Yeah, that's awesome. Great point for sure. Um, what about feet? What about my feet? So I just found like, I would always, my right foot, because I'm right side dominant, would always land just a little bit um, more forward than my other foot. I, it shouldn't, it should like, that's normal. Is that okay? Yeah. It's normal. Me, okay. Yeah, okay. Let me, so if I'm catching a ball, if I'm squaring up coming to my right, that, there are my feet. Yeah. So so they're staggered yeah. a little bit. If I'm coming to the left here, and you can, I'm not doing this best that I can, but here you can see my right foot's a little bit further than my, my left. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's just going to be normal. I think where we get into trouble is when our stance is really narrow. And if, if our feet are like that, but then we're narrow, it, it takes everything good away that we've done. Yeah. Well, the reason, the reason I kind of asked that was because um, I sometimes get confused on which one's my pivot foot, mm -hmm. right? Which happens to a lot of amateur basketball players. Um, so when we were doing this, you were saying, okay, so for on our right side, uh, our left would go first. Yeah, left foot left, and. and then our right foot goes. So right there, that our left foot is the pivot foot. Our left foot is planted and our right foot is the one that can move around now. Okay. Okay, so for, if we do a one-two step where I start with my left foot planted, 
one, and then right foot steps down two. My left foot's yeah. the one that has to stay down. My right is the one that can move around. Yeah, because it, it, I would, you can see my feet, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I would drop. Yeah, now your right is the one you can, there you go. That's exactly it. Okay, good, That's good. Because I do get that confused and it was like, I, re, I feel that because when you go on your left side, then my right foot goes first, right? Oh, yeah. um, just being cognizant of that. Cool, awesome. Um, yeah, that was awesome. I had super fun. Was that that was the last drill, right? Yeah, yeah, that was the last one. Good. <laughs> I'm sweating. Sure. Um, that was super awesome. I love that triple threat position. I think it's so valuable, and it's kind of like undervalued because a lot of the kids don't understand that the eyes can be deceiving. Being in this position is so threatening because no one knows what you're doing, mm -hmm. right? But I feel like a lot of players try to just act quickly. As soon as you get this ball, what are you doing with it? Right? Instead of, okay, get this ball, look at your defender, get set, and then you can make a better decision from there. Does that make I sense? I think so. And you know what? Like the, the quick decision stuff comes just with time. I think the more and more we've done it, the easier it'll be for us to do these simple things really well and then be able to make quick decisions. But we started in the right spot and we built it out as opposed to starting way down here and then going, oh, man, I haven't figured out how to do this stuff, so I got to backtrack. Um, yeah, there's, tons, there's tons of stuff on Instagram and social media and YouTube and all that sort of stuff. If you watch Steph Curry, you watch guys that shoot it real well. They do have all this extra stuff that makes them so unique. But what makes yeah. them special is if they catch the ball and even look at the rim, you see guys flying out of the video because they're so worried about them getting the shot. And all it does is from catching the ball ready to shoot it, and just looking at the rim with the intent to shoot. That little that little pump. I gotta remember that. I gotta remember that. Cause I stay I stay right here in the shooting pocket. Mm -hmm. Right? Pocket. Yeah. And doing this, just a little flick. Even if it makes the the opponent move just that much, you gain that much space. You know what I mean? It's one so, of the most effective things you can do in basketball is just be able to make someone believe you're shooting. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, thank you so, so much for another good session. I need, to get the, I need to, I want to dribble between my legs so bad. You know, when you just walk around and you're just yeah. crossing in between your legs, like no big deal. That's and what I want to do. But thank you. It's a hard one. It's a hard one. Yeah. I'm, well, now as soon as the snow melts, you can go outside and just walk. That's right. But thank you so, so much. Um, I hope you guys all had fun. If you want to ask Coach Steve or myself something about basketball or any kind, anything about the session, please comment below, and I'll try to answer as quickly as possible. We'll be back on Monday for basketball next week, yes? Sounds so good. basketball practice next Monday at 4 p.m. Thank you all so much. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye. Bye, guys.